country. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And we're talking about Gaza again. I just wanted to say, you see this stairs over here. This, in a way, it's a resemblance of something. What is this resemblance of? To me, it's resemblance of the struggle people in Gaza have gone through for years and years and years. And it seems like, to us, it seems like there is no sight, there is no hope in sight. But there is hope. For them, there is hope. What is the hope for them? Because as Muslims, we believe that there is a life after this life. This is life after death. This life after death, anyone who has done evil to anyone is punished. Anyone who's done well and worships only one God, these people are rewarded. So if they're even martyred, for them, it's not a big deal. It's in fact, it's a blessing that they get to go to paradise. They get to be with their Lord. And the people who are oppressing them, they go the other way that we don't want to talk about where they're going to go. They themselves know they are going to go there. So our, my, my suggestion, my advice is to keep praying for them. And I know that because of Gaza, many people have come to Islam. They have converted to Islam because they were curious. They read the Quran and say, oh my God, this is an incredible, this is a miracle. And they come, so many people have come to Islam because they understand why these people are so strong. So I suggest to you, if you are watching this, pick up the Quran and read it, and then we all pray for Gaza. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Assalamu alaikum.